Hello everybody, Crips here, and as always, thanks for joining me. That's right, you did it again. <laughs> you joined me. All right, what am I doing? Well, I'll tell you, I am reviewing Corral Paint Shop Pro X7. That's right, it was just released, and once again, Corral was kind enough to send me a copy, and I'm going to do a review to show everybody out there the new features of X7. So stick around, and you might learn something. All right, manage adjustment and edit tab. Is there a huge difference? No, especially in the manage and the edit tab. I didn't really see any difference there. They do claim, however, that flicking between the manage and the adjustment tabs loads 30% faster. So imagine that you've got a big raw file, 40 megabytes. You go in the adjustment tab, so it should load 30% faster. How do I judge that or gauge that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But, it, you know, in X6, it loaded for me then less than a second. And if you can't wait one second, then you might want to lighten up your schedule. That's all i got to say. But anyway, let's go into the Edit tab. So let me first change this photo. And you're probably going, well, why did you even use this photo? For the thumbnail. <laughs> all right, let's get moving. So here we are. Um, now, I've got a picture of uh, scenery, and it looks good and all, but there's this dirty gray hut here, and I just don't like it. I just want, yeah, I just want it gone. So one of the new features is content aware. That's right, if you're a Photoshop user, fear not, now Corral Paint Shop Pro has the same feature. And now for those who don't know what it is, I'll give you a quick demo. I'm gonna use my freehand selection tool. I'm just gonna roughly select this hut, shed, whatever it is. And then I'm gonna go up here to this action tab here and there's got this thing called the magic field. Now if I click it, gone, look at that. That's pretty cool, right? You can't even see where the hut was. So what it does, it calculates the pixels around it and magically then fills in the area that you want removed. And as you can see, it did a very, very good job on removing the hut and replacing it with the scenery around it. Hence, content aware. Wow, wow, wow. All right, let's keep moving. All right, now the materials, now obviously you've got the palettes. One of the new features, what it does, it allows you to create your very own palette. You can use this icon here that says add to palette, so you can make your own new palettes. You can use the icon that was also at X6, but now you've got here new palettes, so you can create your very own new palettes. So whatever you're working with and you continu continuously use it, you can then just use your own palette, and that's pretty cool. Now, when they send this to me, they came also with a review of what is new, but I didn't see this one here, recently used. X6 doesn't have it. And I didn't see it in the review, but I noticed it here. So what it is, if I'm using a lot of different colors in my picture, it'll every time I pick a different color, it opens up a little icon here to show you all the colors that I've used in the past. And then if I use my eyedropper, I can go back and hover over it, and it tells you the RGB. And that's kind of neat, especially if you go, what was that red I used before? Well, that's what it is, right? Pretty cool, right? Yeah, I thought so too. Now, another thing I should mention while I'm here is that it's a 64. Now, version uh, 6 was a 64 as well, but what happens is now is, or what happened now is, a lot of the big companies that were making all these plugins for Photoshop is now also making plugins for PaintShop Pro, like Topaz Labs. They stepped up and said, hey, you can have all my plugins. Alien Skin get brother use mine and more and more are actually coming aboard to use uh, to start to work with PaintShop Pro and that's cool because PaintShop Pro as you know is like a quarter of the price of Photoshop and if you can get all those plugins well you know you know what I'm saying now uh, one thing I noticed here if I go into my effects let me get rid of this eyedropper oh look it's it's saving I'm sorry about this uh, if you follow me on Facebook recently I had a big storm where I lived and my office got hit and my computer and everything got wiped out so I'm using a really old notebook at the moment but anyway, that's not what I'm about. Let's go into the effects tab. And one of the things that is here, let's go, I've uh, been vignette. In X6, the window opened up really small. Now it's going full screen. Look at that. You can really work with it now. Not I, I always, in X6, I always found it annoying that the window was so small, but not anymore. So obviously they listen to the people complaining. <laughs> that's, well, that's good, right? All right. Okay, let's, let's, let's move on. All right. The text cutter tool, that's a new feature as well. So let's, again, grab a new picture. And I'm going to type in my name. And it's going to be Grips, obviously, if I can spell it right. <laughs> and then I can just make it magically huge. More magically. Whoa. I'm going to make it really huge, like so. There you go. 
All right. Now, instead of explaining you what's going to happen, I'm just going to show you. Uh, I'm going to cut out my text. So let me just highlight my text first. And I've got this new feature here called the text cutter. Now, look what happens. Again, it does it all for you, calculates it, opens up a new window. So I've got an alpha channel now with the word grips, and you can see that the motorbike photo is coming through the letters. And that's what the text cutter option does. So you can come up with some really creative stuff, but fear not, the original uh, picture is still always there. And that's, that's neat, right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> All right, so that's what the text cutter, that's a new feature as well. I'm going to get rid of these layers because I don't need it. So what else can I do? Well, I'll show you. I'm going to grab the brush tool. Now, while I'm grabbing the brush tool, you know, you've got your standard plugins. Face Filter 3, again, is with the Ultimate. Asentech, uh, what is it? Perfectly Clear, again, is a, is a standard with your Pro X7, just like in X6. So that's also available. So that's also good. All right. Um, I'm going to draw. I'm going to do my level best. I'm not going to try and be obvious. I'm going to try and draw a black border around the edge of this motorbike. Let's do that. Okay. Uh, uh, so I'm, I'm not really good at it. If it was on my tablet, I could probably do a better job. I'm using a, a bad mouse, but like I said, I've lost my tablet as well. Right, so I'm, I'm, st I'm struggling to get a nice perfect edge, so let's delete that. Now I'm going to use this new feature called Smart Edge. So what it does, it calculates the edge of the painting that I'm trying to, you know, to trace out. So if I'm trying to cut out this picture as well, I can use this Smart Edge feature. So here we go, look at this. It's just... A little bit slow. I'm, my, this computer is a bit slow, so but you can see the edge here. I drew the black border. I didn't really do any effort into it, but it's a nice crisp outline. Not like before. It kind of just went all over the place. So again, that's Smart Edge, and that is also a new feature. And there it is, my friends. This is probably some of the main uh, new features in X7. There's probably a couple of small hidden ones. I believe there's a pretty good library of backgrounds. Once, once you download the trial or buy one yourself, I'm sure you can explore it. But anyway, there it is. This is my review on Corel PaintShop Pro X7. And as always, thanks for joining.